Hey, how's it going? And today, I just wanted to take a quick look at this Lyra starter game. One thing that I think is interesting about it is how advanced it is. And the one thing you might learn when you're studying it is actually humility, because it is so advanced. And I just want to give you a sneak peek at what I mean by that. That's just one small aspect of this game. One little tiny screen. <laughs> I gotta show you this. So, if we go into Unreal Engine, and I already have it downloaded, it's free. I'll click here and I'll just go open it. It takes a while for it to load in initially, but it is a master class of what Unreal Engine is capable of doing as far as game development. And if you can master this, if you could master just this one aspect of this game, or even just aspects of this game, then you are well on your way toward mastering Unreal Engine. But hopefully one thing that I found in looking at it is just how humbling it was because it is so advanced and involved. And I don't know why that error keeps coming up. That message keeps coming up. I'm going to actually try and break down certain components of this game, but obviously it's gonna take some time to deconstruct because not only is it advanced, but it's using the latest features as well. If you can just even find one component of the game that you like and just try to break that down. Okay, so this is it loaded in. And what I wanted to show you was, if you come over here in the content directory, here's our content directory, and there's all these com folders. Let's just go into UI, and I believe it's menu, let's see, credits, this is right, credits, not credits, HUD, no, HUD isn't it, front end, foundation, see just finding what I'm looking for, I believe it's called loading screen, so let's just see if I can find it this way, loading, ha, ah, here it is, this right here, so Search for W Lyra logo loading screen. Okay, I take that back. So search for W loading screen default. Let's click on this. This is a beautiful logo. You wouldn't believe this, but just this. If I were to try to recreate this, might take me two or three days. <laughs> Maybe even longer. I would be curious to know how long it took them to come up with this. So there's a lot going on. You can see there's this background moving here. There's a moving material there. But I was particularly intrigued by this thing, whatever this is. So just if you look at this, just from an art standpoint, the amount of creativity, the layers on here, and so what's interesting is if we click on the loading screen, and this is what I want to show you real quick, and we come up here, edit it, we'll double click that, you'll see we have more options here to drill down. And this moving thing right here, this, I don't know that, I guess they call it constellation. Let's double click on that. And now we're in this area. It says loading symbol, that's our image. So let's browse to the asset and then it's here somewhere oh it's right here the symbol we can see it here there that's what it is right here and then if we go into here this is the curve from which it's apparently built with the different colors so that in itself is something else and let's click here double click here loading sign i think this is the one i want I'm going to browse to this asset. Where is it? Here? Oh, here it is. See where it says M-I-U-I -I loading symbol. So look how far we're already in. This is the one I'm actually looking for. And if let's go in. I think we can go in further here. Now look at this. I want you to take a look at this and tell me, honestly, how long would this have taken you, would take you to create, just out of curiosity. And... How much knowledge would you have to have to create this? <laughs> <laughs> a 
Look at this. So, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of those, um, you know those electrical boxes you see the guy on the side of the road, the phone guy, and it has just a ton of wires in there. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Could you figure this out? And look, this is just one component of this. Just one component. We haven't even looked at all this stuff. This is just that thing in the background coming in. That's just that. <laughs> is there a lot to learn in Unreal Engine? Yes. Could it take a long time to learn? Yes. And where do you fit in? Where do you fit in in Unreal Engine? Where, do you, where does this put you? I, I have to ask myself that question. Where does this put me in Unreal Engine? Do I want to spend all this time figuring out all of this? If I had an interest in this, do I want to? Or is your interests, or are your interests more in something else? You know, and so what you have to do, what I have to do, is really ask myself a lot of questions and figure out what do I really want to do in Unreal Engine? Do I want to spend my days doing this to create that? Or am I more interested in actually building a game? I really guess this Thera starter game can help you find yourself and help you learn humility along the way. Because honestly, quite honestly, I, I'm fascinated by this, that this was all constructed, but I don't want to spend my days doing this. I mean, as interesting as it is, I like challenges. And so just maybe on a challenge level, I would like to see if I could put something like this together. But that would be it. I wouldn't necessarily want to spend my days doing this. I'm more interested in the building of an actual game or making an actual animated short film. For an asset like this, I would rather just get this asset somewhere online. And so it's not so much that I'm into materials, actually, I can, I can almost say that, that I'm not that much into materials or maybe even building environments. I would rather procure those off the marketplace. And so to a certain extent, Lyra has helped me to find myself and cl more clearly define what I want to do or where I fit in into the Unreal ecosphere. These are just my thoughts for today. I hope you found this helpful. Take care and have a great day.